Okay, this is my February swap mini for Amy. And uh, she said that uh, her and her husband got married in Vegas and that uh, she had a mini started for that, but then they went back for their first anniversary and she didn't have a mini started for that. And she liked the idea of a love theme, but not necessarily hooked completely into Valentine's. And so I kind of went with that. I've got a red and black and white color theme. A little bit of Vegas stuff going on. There's a charm, a roulette wheel. And some pretty ribbons on here. Um, reds, whites, blacks. Uh, on the front page, I glimmer misted all my pages. It's a top note shape book the whole way through. I um, added uh, red ink to the love die cut shape and then I added UD with some glitter and heat set it. Um, I glimmer misted it the flower, added some stickles and um, some it's like a shimmers paint that Stampin' Up! put out, but I forget what it's called. I can't remember right now. And so the, the the title of the book is Love of My Life. And she said she had two loves, her husband and TV, but I left the TV part out. There's a little heart mirror under this tag. Um, that's the cover. I sponge all my edges with um, black ink. And so the first page is um, had uh, some flourishes on it and I glossy accented them. I added a big jumbo gem heart on the envelope and put a tag in the envelope. It has some stamping on it, some glossy accents on the flower, journaling spot on the back and it goes back in there but you can also fit a photo in under here and then on the next page uh, again it's glimmer misted I'm not sure if you can see the shine from it I just used iridescent gold I did a ribbon border that I just took a piece of cardstock added some adhesive to it and then gathered the ribbon as I went along to make this ruffle and then I took a garment pen and attached a little um, round metal ed edge tag to it and again you can fit photos under there easily. I'll leave that tag out so I can show you where photos go. And then the next page um, I made a mini for her, for Amy, and I always make a duplicate mini to keep for myself. Now hers has the Vegas theme going on so mine is a little different on this page. This um, set of pages, but I'll show you mine in a second. So hers has a royal flush, which I believe is the highest um, hand you can get in um, whatever game you play with this, like poker maybe, I don't know. Anyways, it's so you can put photos behind each page, and up here it's embossed, it says all you need is love, and that's heat uh, embossed with red embossing powder, and then a gem flourish. And I'll show you my page in my mini. It's the same otherwise, as you can see. But on this page, I just made some tags that say, admit it, admit it, all you need is love. But otherwise, it's the same. And then um, on to the next page. I did a little bit of a corset type thing here. Um, with a tag that you can pull out. I glossy accented the lady's hair and I added some gold shimmers to this one and did some stamping and the front and the back. And you can fit something as well in behind here, but I just put the one in here. Oh, and then there's a heat embossed crown in behind this. And the tag just slides back in there. And then on this page, um, I did an, a homemade bingo card. I stamped some Tim Holtz wings on here. Added a dewdrop gem over just one of the numbers. Nothing in particular. It doesn't mean anything. I glossy accented 
the letters on the top along with the heart. Put a little metal heart frame around the dew drop. And then in behind they can add photos, but I also added this um, envelope, which I did some stamping on and uh, stamped some lips and put in a little card that ha says wild for you but then it also has a journal spot that is a wild card, a joker so I don't know, I thought that was kind of cute maybe she won't like it and then it just sticks in behind there and this paper is um, embossed this one has cherries on it but this one is embossed with cherries I'm not sure if you can see that and then this is one of my favorite pages here uh, I talked to Catherine over on the Scrap Beach and she had done a slider, double slider card on one of her Ustream videos and hers worked so well. I just, so I messaged her and asked her, you know, how did you do it again? Because the ones I've seen or the previous ones I've made just use grocery bag plastic and they just don't slide very well. They're fine coming out, but going in they always would stick and you'd have to really fiddle with it, but this one works so smoothly. So thank you, Catherine. I am so pleased at how well it turned out. So I just used some um, shipping tags and uh, did it basically the traditional instructions for a double slider card, but the plastic is freezer bag plastic. It's a heavier plastic and it makes such a difference on how well it works. And then there's some Prima flowers with an embossed heart flourish. And again, you can fit a photo in behind. That's my husband messaging me. So I don't know if I can get this finished again before it's going to ring. I did a Velma flower with um, the UD and some stamping on the bottom. <laughs> And then I die cut some frames and heat emboss them with um, black embossing powder and then UD. And again, this you can put a photo in, in behind. And I sponge the edges with um, black stays on ink. And on the other side, I just die cut another frame and this one is also workable. She can put a photo in there and add some um, bling gems. And this was my husband's idea for the last page to make it a, um, I forget what this is called, a slot machine, I think. And then there's a tag just in behind where she can add some more journaling or a photo. And so, oops, I dropped the tag on the floor. But now my last page doesn't have that. My last page just has another frame. And I'm going to put a tag in this way for that one. Um, let me see if I can get that tag up with it knocking the camera and just show you that it works this way. So I'm going to put a tag in that goes this way on this one, but it won't be a tag like this, but it'll be one that fits in there. And so that's your mini uh, Amy and I hope you like it. I had a great time making it and it was nice to no, um, do a little bit of a theme that I could really work with. I had some stamps that worked for it and some charms and to make give it that little bit of a Vegas theme. I hope you enjoyed that and thank you. Leave a comment. I always appreciate it. Thanks. Bye.